Welcome to the first of our service of prayer and meditation for our Lenten Wednesdays. We're glad that you can join us. We pray that this will be a time of worship that is woven with moments of silence and scripture and song. You're invited to be still in the presence of God as the Holy Spirit opens your heart to receive the word. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Lord, it is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is for stillness. Be present with us now, we pray. Turn our hearts to trust toward you and in love toward one another. Through Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson for tonight comes from the second chapter of Mark, verses 6 through 8. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves, and he said to them, why do you raise such questions in your heart? The Gospel of the Lord. Grace and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. If you would think back with me to about last February of 2020, and our theme for what our, our Lenten services was, was pause. Boy, did we put a pause to 2020. So that is why this year our theme for our Lenten Wednesdays is a story to tell. We have a story to tell and in so many different ways. So in this first one, it's like beyond being nice. A story to tell about beyond being nice. So when I think of being nice, I hear conversations in my head like, do you know so-and-so? Isn't she such a nice person? Or nice usually describes a person who's pleasant, agreeable, or kind. Someone who doesn't rock the boat, always fun to be around, and who has a good disposition. Nebraskans try to let the rest of the country know how wonderful Nebraska is with our motto, Nebraska nice. That statement alone, nice, should invite all kinds of people to move to Nebraska. The people and the state are so nice. Christians also want to be seen as nice people. Those who show compassion and caring for others, no matter the situation or need. So does this definition of nice define your behaviors and beliefs as a Christian? Or are you just going along with them because everybody else is and is kind of coaching you that you should be too? Nice. We can be nice, but what is beyond being nice. It is thinking of the other before we think of ourselves, correcting things that go against the unfair treatment of another. 
going that extra step to show compassion and kindness, even in situations where others might frown upon it. The author of today's book, or the devotional for today that you have in uh, your devotional book, it says, Jesus regularly found himself in a position of opposition which is good news to folks wearied by the simplistic notion that Christians are nice people. That nice image can restrict us to the point that all we can do is to sit on our hands. We are caring, loving, and generous, and caring, loving, generous people don't go around upsetting other people with their actions. You see how this image can bind and restrict our movements. See, Jesus' hands were not tied to nice. He went beyond that. Jesus often found himself being in opposition to the rule of the day. He showed compassion to those whom others usually shun or viewed as not worth helping. So when we look at Jesus, was he always nice? Or did he periodically show some, what we might call, not so nice characteristics? I think some of both. Jesus went beyond nice when he clears the temple of the people who turned it into a marketplace because he wanted to restore his father's house of worship. He went beyond being nice as he spoke out against rules that ostracized people from society because of illness or class. We too then go beyond being nice when we speak out about injustice or inaction. We can be nice when expressing opinions or viewpoints in a nonviolent way, but we are also called to speak up for those who may not be able to speak for themselves. We follow Christ, who had no difficulty showing compassion even when others found it offensive, loving all people despite the way that agitated others, being bold and humble all at once. See, we all have a story to tell during the season of Lent, we encourage you to share that story. Share the story of Jesus' ability to show compassion, forgiveness, and then go beyond being nice to love all people no matter where they are from and to speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves. Go beyond just being nice. Let's focus on that for this first week of Lent. Let us help each other grow in our faith as we find ways to go beyond being nice and show God's love and compassion to others. Amen. Jesus says, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Come, you who feel far from God's embrace, unsure of God's love. Come from behind the walls that surround you, hostility that consumes, fear that entombs, and pride that divides. At the cross, Christ Jesus gathers all things to himself, 
ending our divisions, becoming our peace, and granting us God's abundant life. Let us pray. You are gracious and merciful, O God, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Hear our cries, receive our prayers, and fill us with your blessing until your whole creation sings your praise through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The blessed Holy Trinity keeps us in grace and grants us peace. Amen. Go in peace. God is near.